Know some amazing women? Join Women's Stories as we highlight Grace Hopper, an amazing computer scientist, one of the first, and a U.S. Navy Rear Admiral. Grace was born in New York City in 1906. She was a curious child, and at age seven, she decided to see how an alarm clock worked. She took apart seven clocks before her mother figured out what she was doing and took away six. She did let Grace continue to investigate one. Grace applied to Vassar College for early admission, but was rejected. She was admitted the next year and graduated from Vassar in 1928 with a degree in math and physics. She earned her PhD in math from Yale in 1934 and returned to Vassar to teach math. During World War II, Grace joined the U.S. Navy Reserves as part of the Mark I computer programming staff. While working on the Mark II computer, a pesky moth was stuck inside. Grace remarked that they were debugging the system. Today, we still debug computer programs, and Grace's moth is preserved at the Smithsonian. Next, Grace joined the team developing the Univac-1, the second commercial computer developed in the U.S. Grace created a compiler to translate source code into computer language. In 1959, she worked on the committee that defined a new computer language, COBOL. Grace believed that programming languages should be close to English rather than machine code, which was the convention. She first retired from the Navy in 1966 at the age of 60, but the Navy recalled her to active duty because they still had work for her to do. By 1986, when she finally really retired, she was a rear admiral. After her final retirement from the Navy, she received many honors and traveled and lectured widely until her death at 85 in 1992. She is buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Today, Microsoft's Hoppers, the Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing Conference, and the USS Hopper are just a few of the enduring tributes to her. This video is a Women's Stories production. Women's Stories is an open collaborative effort of women around the world to inspire, encourage, and celebrate women's lives.